How's it going, champs? We're playing Tiny Town. When we look at the world like this, it actually doesn't look that big. It doesn't look like I've done much until we start zooming down and we can see all the minor details. There's so many of them. So I asked you guys in the last video what we should be deleting. Whether we should be getting rid of Angel Siren Head and Devil Siren Head or Meat Horse and Long Horse. And the majority of you guys wanted me to get rid of these two. So that's what I'm going to do. And this actually works out really well for my story. Just wait and see. Let's go ahead and delete some of these things. Oh yeah, this is going to be freeing up some space. Ah, oh, it feels so good. So refreshing. Oh, his head just disappeared. Get rid of all this business. Get rid of the halo. See you later. Hey, champs. Yeah, look at that. Victory! Everybody can cheer! Woo! Actually, I'm gonna do him like a really fancy jump. He's celebrating by diving off the church for some reason. Will he be saved by this guy? Nobody knows. Hang on. Turn off snapping because snapping sucks. There we go. Everybody is happy. It's a victory. Even the chicken is happy. It's doing a chicky backflip. Super awesome backflip, little chicken. So let's go over this way for a minute. Oh, I actually need to get you guys to pick what we're gonna delete in the next video. Yeah, that's right. Every time we make something, we have to delete something. Perfectly balanced cartoon mouse. The evil version. And we have the good version as well. These guys are kind of like a pair. Are we gonna get rid of cartoon mouse? and he's happier, less violent looking double, or are we gonna get rid of, do, 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 where is he? Down the alleyway, cartoon donk. I actually like this one. I think he looks super authentic, but I want you guys to pick between cartoon dog and cartoon mouse. Let's just jump back over here. Now these two, these guys actually got off their butt. They stopped playing Super Smash Brothers, yeah. And they got to work. I'm gonna put these guys right near the vat of the liquid Z that we've got here. And we'll get this one as well. I'm gonna delete these masks because these masks aren't gonna be relevant anymore. Now I need to kind of show you guys what we're building today, kind of in the story, you know, like the order of that, how it actually happens. Otherwise it's not gonna make any sense. I'm gonna do my best to make it make sense. He's not wearing a mask at the moment. Okay, there will be, but don't you worry. We'll put the masks back on. Hey, Pikachu. So when I saw that everyone wanted to delete the uh, the Devil Siren Head and the Angel Siren Head, it gave me a little bit of an idea. I need this thing and just put it just like that. I'm gonna leave that there for now. We need to cut across to what was happening over here. Now, I did ask you guys what we should actually make uh, Killy Willy saying. It's not really relevant, all right? <laughs> because this Killy Willy is dead. I also need to get rid of Huggy Wuggy. See you, champ. You will be making a return. Don't you worry. Whoa. He is now Hugey Wuji. <laughs> okay, all of his limbs are gone. Fantastic. Now we've got to get Killy Willy. And I'm going to put him right over here. Because he did escape from this area once before, if you guys remember. When he had a fight with Kissy Missy. That's right. This Killy Willy is a Daddy Freddy. <laughs> Alright, let's put that there. That's terrible. That is terrible. Uh, she got me, Finn. She got me. Actually, he's not saying anything because he is, he is dead. Now we need to get Mummy Longlegs. Oh my god, there's so many whack names. Let's get Mummy Longlegs. She is running over this way. She's the one who killed him. She defeated Killy Willy. I'm sorry, Killy Willy, but you are no more, champ. Kind of got to make it looks like she's running away now because she's trying to get to... Actually, it'd be cool if she was climbing over the buildings and stuff. I feel like that's kind of how she would be moving. I got a few comments from people saying that she's actually a spider. Uh, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Spiders have eight legs. So, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem like she's a spider. She's just got noodly appendages and she kind of moves like a spider. I asked you guys what to rate my mummy long legs out of like, what I say? Like, uh, was it 73 or something? You guys gave it like a billion. Gave it you, you, just like we were way too nice. Way too nice. Yeah, that's cool. That looks really animated. I like it. I mean, it's not moving, but it looks like it could be. If that makes sense. Okay, so we've got to move over to this side of town. Now, all of these zombies, I'm going to get rid of most of them. I'm going to get rid of this guy. He doesn't apply anymore. This zombie is now a farmer man. He's taken on a farming career. 
Let's just take him over to a farm so he can hang out at the farm. I reckon they'll make good friends. We've got this guy whose face is covered in bacon. And there's bacon pouring out of this pig. You can see that pig there. But they're best of friends. Okay, get rid of these zombies. Get rid of these ones. Now, all of these zombies... These guys are dead. I'm just gonna lay them down on the ground. Actually, I might even make a pile of them. All right, because we've sort of cleaned them up. I realized that, like this section of the tiny town world actually hadn't really progressed in the story. We had like multiple different timelines happening at the same time, which is fine because you know that it kind of makes sense. You guys are probably thinking, what, Finn, why are you making a pile of zombies? Why aren't you leaving these zombies alone? Well, I figure I've harvested all of the liquid Z that I need. I don't need any more. So all the zombies have been harvested. Let's get rid of these mutant huggy wuggies. There we go. See you later, dude. Zombie, chuck that one away. <laughs> ah, there's me. All right, I'm just going to stick me over here for a minute. I'm just gonna have me sitting down in the gutter. I'm just sat there. I kind of look like I really need to go to the toilet. <laughs> I really hope that person in the toilet hurries up. You guys remember the last video I had a huggy wuggy that Mummy Longlegs had saved? Well, this is what happened. He's gonna be in the air. Yeah, that's right, because he's flying. Huggy Wuggy's gotten a little bit of an upgrade. Oh yeah, that looks cool. That looks really cool. Let's give him some wings. Those wings are giant. I'm just gonna shrink those down a little bit. Pop them on his back. All right, we'll pop this halo around his head. And we've got Angel Huggy Wuggy. Yeah, it looks really cool. Actually, I'm gonna increase the amount of wings he's got. I reckon he'd have more than just two sets of wings. Uh, how does that look? Yep, I like it. He looks really good. So let's just catch my breath for a minute. We've got Mummy Longlegs who took Huggy Wuggy in, fixed him, turned him into Angel Huggy Wuggy. Now he's super ready for a battle with Devil Killy Willy. I kind of want to make it look like uh, Devil Killy Willy's on his way over to the factory to try and destroy it, right? But I can't really work out where I want to put the guy. Maybe like over this way, perhaps? Uh, maybe... Actually, no, we'll leave this guy here for now. Okay, because he's going to be in the great battle. So, let's get rid of these guys. <laughs> oh god, that's horrifying. We don't need you anymore. You don't make a great deal of sense. We'll leave those guys there. Doesn't matter if they don't really make sense with the timeline. That's okay. But I'm gonna put Devil Killy Willy just over this place. It's all these little minor details like phone booths and stuff and rocks and things like that that make your tiny town world kind of look complete. You know what I mean? Okay, grass over there. Grass is super boring to place in, but that's fine. Wait until it's all done. It'll look cool. I'm gonna get this mutant huggy wuggy. I'm gonna put this guy down here. Maybe one of his arms have like fallen off or something. He has been crushed and defeated. A lot of casualties in this battle between Huggy Wuggy and Killy Willy, that's for sure. It's a bit sad. That arm can be in the tree. I don't know why. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe that tree grows arms. It's one of those arm growing trees. Poor Huggy Wuggy mutant guy. I didn't really come up with a good name for those guys. But that it doesn't matter. We know what they are. Okay, so let's go ahead and build Devil Killy Willy. This is gonna be good. Most of the parts are just the usual Killy Willy parts, but I've modified the head and we've got some new horns as well. It's gonna look super cool. Hey, a log. Yeah. How distracted do I get? Okay, let's just put that log there. Oh, that looks good. That's nice. All right, where is this thing? We've got eggplants. We've got all sorts of parts of everything. We've got Poopy Tim. Ah, here we go. There's an arm. Who does this arm belong to? What was this arm from? I can't... Oh, it's from the... No, it's not from the smog guy. No, it's from the smog. Yeah, it was all these arms sticking out of the smog from... Chimney head. That was his name. I was about to call him Smog Head. Okay, so let's get a uh, Killy Willy body. And we'll put some wings on him, of course. He's the devil. He's got to have some wings. He's got to be able to fly and stuff. I don't know if the devil's got wings. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Yeah, he's crushed him. Crushed in defeat. Maybe he'll have his arms up like this. Like, he's like, yeah, super tough. He's like cheering himself on. He's got no head at the moment. Hey, what would happen if we mixed him up? Mutant Huggy. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's ripped his face off and he's wearing it as a mask. Okay, let's put that back on there. We need to test the other ones. Who else do we have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is so good. I like that. It doesn't make any sense. What if the face was down there on the stomach? ish area. It was 
It was Spider-Man the whole time. <laughs> Whoa. Man, that one looks intense. Okay, that one actually looks pretty cool. All the rest of them were sort of funny, but that one just looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the best. That one's the best. I kind of just want to leave it at that, but I know I shouldn't because that's not what we're about. Oh my god, that is amazing. Let me know out of all those which one you thought was the funniest. Oh, hang on. We didn't even try Huggy Wuggy. Oh, it's not going to be as good as the last one. No way. It's meh. It's okay, but it's, it's definitely not as funny as the last one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All right, okay, let's put the proper head on. Stop being silly. Hey, here it is. I decided to give him an actual eye. So he's got an eye this time. We've got a horn. Now I'm gonna give this guy horns. That way or inwards? I think maybe outwards works a little bit better. Uh, we'll clone that. And we'll put that one like that as well. How does that look? They've got to be even. I kind of put these little holes on top of his head for the horns to sit in. So it sort of looks like they're bursting out of his head a little bit. Okay, so that's one look. Or we could turn them inwards like this. And we could get this kind of look going on. I want you guys to let me know which you prefer. Uh, let's try this. How does that look? That looks pretty cool as well. But it looks probably too similar to the, like, the usual... Uh, Killy Willy. So I'm gonna go with like this on kind of a forward angle. They kind of look like giant chilies. I could have actually just used the chilies in this game. There are there is a chili. I kind of yeah. I didn't need to make this horn. Doesn't matter. Let's make these. They're kind of like spikes. Um, let's put them on his body so he's got some spikes sort of coming out of his legs like this. How's that look? Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, gonna put him up his arms as well. He's got super skinny arms, so it's hard to fit things on the actual arm. That's all right. Just adding that little bit of extra red onto him just makes the horns sort of fit in a little bit more. You know what I mean? Okay, that looks pretty cool. Where else could we put some of these horns? We could put some on the wings. So let's go back to the wings. Okay, we'll go with the black wings. He's kind of almost like a, like a bat. He's got a bat thing going on, doesn't he? Maybe that's how he communicates through Sona. I realized like a dragon wing or something like that would have been better. I just don't have a dragon wing. Okay, so at the moment, we've now got Devil Killy Willy here. He has been created by, let's just fly all the way over here using my arms. Oh my God. Got created by these guys, okay? This is what happened. These guys <laughs> went over to where the Devil Siren Head and the Devil, uh, the Angel Siren Head were and took the Devil Siren Head head, stuck it in the Liquid Sea and created Devil Killy Willy. That's what happened. These guys are so happy with themselves. So, these guys are now Team Devil Killy Willy. They, they've updated their masks. That's right. They were wearing just the Killy Willy masks before. Now they're wearing the other ones. The upgraded model. They're super cool. There we go. What we need is actually like a, you know, like a crew or like a gang of um, angel huggy wuggy guys. People who work for, you know, me over in my toy factory. That's what we need. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, I need to get some little horns on there as well. I kind of wish I did a model that had the horns attached. That way I didn't, wouldn't have to, uh, you know, keep putting all these horns on. This guy's horn fell off into the water, well, the water, the Liquid Z, because it's a cheap model. That's right. They skimped on production quality and they're really budget. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to have a battle between Angel Huggy Wuggy, Devil Killy Willy, probably Mummy Long Legs. We've also got the Killy Willy Spider still getting round over there. Okay, that's happening. I want you guys to let me know what you would like to see happen in the battle. Okay, what are, the, what are these guys going to get up to? Who you think is actually going to win? I don't know, man. It could be anyone at this point. It really could. Hang on, I'm just going to update this Mountie. So this guy has now seen Angel Huggy Wuggy, and he's updated his mask to the cool model. He's now a cool guy as well. Uh, there's the halo. Put that on there as well. Uh, it needs a little stick here to attach it to the mask. Okay, the halo, <laughs> the halo is attached to the mask using a little stick. And of course, it's got a little wing accessory as well. Just coming out the sides. This, of course, is a legendary accessory, which he managed to get his hands on. Super rare. He is the only one to have it. That does look very cool, though. I kind of want a mask now that looks like that as well. I would pay money for one of those things 
That looks amazing. But I think we have the battle go down here, all right? We've also got... Uh, we've also got Huggy Wuggy, Train Eater. This guy is not going anywhere, though. He is made out of a whole bunch of pieces, and I can't move him. I would have to rebuild him. Look at all these teeth. These are all separate. He cannot be touched. But let me know what you'd like to see in the next video, and thank you very much for watching this video. Catch you guys next time.